Ever wondered what the difference is between thrust and power when it comes to engines? Well, prepare to be enlightened. Engines the heart of any machine come in many forms, but today we're focusing on two particular types, thrust producing and power producing engines. The world of aviation relies heavily on these mechanical wonders, each serving a unique purpose within an aircraft's operation. Understanding the difference between these two types of engines is not just a matter of technical knowledge. It's about appreciating the intricate dance of physics and engineering that allows us to conquer the skies. Whether it's the roar of a jet taking off or the hum of a propeller plane cruising, behind these sounds lie the complex workings of thrust and power engines. So buckle up, aviation enthusiasts, because we're about to dive deep into the heart of these marvels. Today we embark on a journey to understand these two distinct types of engines. So what exactly is a thrust producing engine? Let's dive in to explore this fascinating machinery. When we talk about thrust engines, we're referring to the kind of engines that generate force by expelling gas or fluid in the opposite direction. It's a classic case of Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Now imagine a balloon filled with air. When you let go of it, the air rushes out and the balloon propels in the opposite direction. That's the basic principle behind a thrust engine. But of course, in practice, it's much more complex and sophisticated. Thrust engines are commonly found in aircraft like jets and rockets. The engines suck in air at the front, compress it, mix it with fuel and ignite it. The resulting explosion forces the gas out at the back of the engine at high speed. And it's this action that propels the aircraft forward. The key feature that sets thrust engines apart is their efficiency at high speeds and altitudes. The faster they go, the more efficient they become. That's why they're the go-to choice for high-speed aircraft and space travel. Let's take the example of a jet engine. When a jet engine is at full throttle, it can expel gas at speeds up to 1500 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound. This expulsion creates a powerful thrust propelling the aircraft forward. Yet, it's not all about speed. Thrust engines also excel in terms of power to weight ratio. They're lighter and more compact than many other types of engines, making them an ideal choice for applications where weight is a critical factor, like in an aircraft. But remember, every type of engine has its unique strengths and trade-offs. While thrust engines might be superb for high-speed flight and space travel, they may not be the best choice for other applications. In essence, thrust engines are all about the push. They're about propelling an object forward with great force and efficiency, whether that object is a supersonic jet or a spacecraft hurtling through the cosmos. Now let's switch gears and explore power-producing engines. In the realm of aviation, power-producing engines are truly fascinating. They're not just about propelling an aircraft forward, they're about creating power. Power that's harnessed to perform a variety of tasks, from turning the rotors in helicopters to providing electricity for onboard systems. So how do they work? Imagine an engine that converts chemical energy from fuel into mechanical energy. This mechanical energy then drives a propeller, creating a forward thrust. But here's the twist. In a power engine, a significant portion of this energy is diverted to power other systems. This is achieved through a complex system of gears and shafts, which help distribute the engine's power where it is needed most. A classic example of a power-producing engine is the turboshaft engine, commonly found in helicopters. In a turboshaft, the majority of the power generated is used to drive the main rotor. The remaining power is used to run auxiliary systems such as hydraulics and electronics. This is what sets power producing engines apart. They're not just about thrust, they're about power distribution. Power engines are also found in turboprop aircraft. Here, the engine's power is used to drive a propeller, providing the thrust needed to move the aircraft forward. Additionally, a portion of the power is used to run the aircraft systems, much like in a helicopter. But what truly sets power engines apart is their efficiency. They are designed to maximize the use of energy, providing the most power from the least amount of fuel. This makes them an ideal choice for aircraft that require a high power output, such as cargo planes and long distance airliners. So, in a nutshell, power engines are all about generating and distributing power. They are the heart of many aircraft pumping energy through their systems, 
keeping them airborne and ensuring everything runs smoothly. Power engines, as the name suggests, are all about producing power. Now that we have a basic understanding of both types of engines, it's time to contrast them. Dive right in, and the first thing that pops up is the mechanics. Thrust engines, or jet engines, are all about Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The force of the exhaust gases shooting out of the back propels the aircraft forward. On the other hand, power engines, or propeller engines, work on the principle of aerodynamic lift. The rotating blades pull the aircraft forward. Let's talk about usage. Thrust engines are generally found in high-speed aircraft, like commercial jets. They are designed for speed and efficiency at high altitudes. Power engines, however, are common in smaller aircraft and helicopters. They're built for lower speeds and altitudes, but offer excellent maneuverability and control. Now the overall function, thrust engines focus on, well, thrust, the force that pushes the aircraft forward. They're like the sprinters of the aviation world, quick and powerful. Power engines, in contrast, provide not just forward motion, but also control over the aircraft's direction and speed. They're more like distance runners, steady and reliable. So while they both serve the same ultimate purpose, to get the aircraft off the ground and keep it moving, they do so in very different ways. As we can see, while they may seem similar, thrust and power engines have their own unique characteristics. Before we wrap up, let's revisit the key points. Thrust engines, with their raw push, are all about speed and altitude, while power engines, delivering rotational force, are the unsung heroes of takeoff and climbing. Understanding these differences is crucial, not just for pilots, but for anyone passionate about aviation. It's a fascinating journey into the heart of what makes aircraft fly. And that, in a nutshell, is the difference between thrust and power engines in the world of aviation. Keep exploring, keep learning, and until next time, keep your engines running.